Hey guys, welcome back to all and A level science. So today in this video, we are going to solve questions of A level biology chapter one, which is our topic cells. Okay, so we are going to solve past paper NCQ paper one questions in this video. So paper one can be either paper eleven or twelve or paper thirteen for our AS level syllabus okay so let's start off with these questions so the first question it says an actively growing cell is supplied with radioactive amino acids that's very important we're highlighting amino acids here so which cell component would first show an increase in radioactivity so here we have seen that they have mentioned amino acids so amino acids are actually are used for protein synthesis because they are the monomers of protein so amino acids whenever they are linked together by polypeptide chains they actually form protein molecules and these protein molecules are actually synthesized in the ribosomes okay so we know that these ribosomes are actually present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum okay so we can consider d to be our answer here so we can say that rough endoplasmic reticulum since none of the options actually mentions ribosomes directly so it's going to be rough endoplasmic reticulum some people might be confused with Golgi body but Golgi body is used for the modification of proteins not exactly the synthesis of protein molecules okay so let's go to question number two now so question number two it says uh, one minute which pair of organelles has internal membranes so internal membranes is basically chloroplast and mitochondria because if you have seen the structure of chloroplast and mitochondria they're both double membrane okay they're both double membrane structure which means that they do have an internal membrane okay so this is something we need to keep in our mind okay so chloroplast and mitochondria are the structures which have a double membrane okay next question it says which combination is found in a prokaryotic cells so prokaryotic cells are actually the cells it does not contain any membrane brown organelle so prokaryotic cells does not have an endoplasmic reticulum because they are membrane brown prokaryotic cells so these are the choices which it leaves c and d prokaryotic cells may have a dna or rna so we may place them as sticks but they do not contain a nucleus because nucleus whenever someone call a nucleus in general they actually mean a true nucleus and by true nucleus we mean a membrane bound nucleus but since they do not have a membrane bound nuclei so we are not going to consider that so c is the correct response there okay let's see question number four it says which is the order of size of the cell components okay so in the to smallest so here it says mitochondria here it says nucleus we need to know that the nucleus is larger than mitochondria because even if we draw a structure of a cell the nucleus is actually going to appear larger than the smaller mitochondria very poor drawing but hopefully you guys understand then it's chloroplast and then it's mitochondria then it's ribosomes so b is a correct response uh, then in a for other confused people out there um, ribosomes are obviously not in the larger spectrum they're obviously smaller than starch grain even smaller than nuclear so that's absolutely wrong again in option c they say it's ribosome at first which is absolutely wrong indeed they say starch brain and then mitochondria which is also messed up so only b is a correct response here okay let's see question number five the diagram shows the structure of a typical plant cell which component is also present in prokaryotes so prokaryotes does not have any membrane bound organelles so organelles which are not membrane bound so those are what we're going to consider which is A because A actually just points to a cytoplasm which is obviously present in all prokaryotic cells. And cytoplasm is common in both eukaryotic and prokaryotic. Okay. Then question number six it says what is responsible for 
the high resolution of an electron microscope okay high resolution is basically it depends on the wavelength of electrons so which is b so resolution is always linked with wavelength so whenever we see the word resolution we need to consider the wavelength okay so light microscope for example so light microscope has a smaller uh, sorry has a larger wavelength compared to that of electrons so uh, that makes the uh, uh, that makes the resolution lower for a light microscope compared to electron microscope okay so question number seven radioactively labeled amino acids are introduced into a cell which of the cell structures will the radioactivity first become concentrated okay so radioactivity is introduced uh, amino acids once again this is a question about amino acids so whenever we see amino acids we are going to talk about ribosomes and since they do not point directly to ribosomes in any of these options so it's going to be the rough endoplasmic reticulum because we know the ribosomes are embedded within the structure of the rough endoplasmic reticulum okay so c is the correct response there so what is the function of the nucleoli so Nucleoli, as we know, is a structure present inside the nucleus, which is a hugely or highly stained structure. This is the nucleoli present inside the nucleus. Okay, so the function of the nucleoli is basically uh, the formation of ribosomes. So the nucleoli actually synthesizes ribosomes. So if I have also given a video where I discuss a whole nucleus, so there you will find about the function of nucleoli where i have discussed the formation of ribosomes in the nucleoli by rrna which is a ribosomal rna so c is a correct response here okay number nine which identifies a cell as a prokaryote okay so the prokaryote uh, means they do not have any membrane bound structure and their dna is actually a circular dna they do not have a linear double helix dna I mean sorry DNA is double helical but they do not have a linear DNA they have a circular DNA so if prokaryotes their DNA is obviously circular and they do not have associated protein such an eukaryotic property okay so B is a correct response there and double helix is all DNA so that's not the correct response there so number 10 a lysosome measures 0 0.4 micrometers in diameter what is the diameter in nanometer so we just have to convert this into nanometer so 0 0.4 times 10 to the power 3 if we multiply then we can convert micrometers into nanometers which is going to be 400 nanometers from here so p is the correct response here okay number 11 which describes resolution in microscopy it's the ability to distinguish two different objects which are very close together yep that makes sense the clarity of an image formed by the microscope uh, uh, that's not always true that does not define resolution itself actually that's not the definition then it says on option C the number of times the image has been magnified by the object lens no that means magnification number D the power of the microscope to focus on very small objects that's not the general definition of resolution that's what it does so A is the correct response here because that's exactly describes what resolution is, which is the ability to distinguish between two points which are close together. That's a basic definition. Okay. Number twelve, it says what is the function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum? That's lipid synthesis. Once again, if you don't know about it, you can check out my video now uh, where I've discussed this. Since they do not have any direct lipid in this question, so steroids are actually lipids they are actually form of hormones which are fats so c is also the correct response they also synthesizes steroids rough endoplasmic reticulum okay so you can check out the other video where i've also discussed that okay number 13 which process is the large area of okay let's just remove that so that we can focus on this question for which process is the large surface area of the cristae in the mitochondria important okay so here we need to focus on the word large surface area so large surface area let's see it says energy radiation uh, no it does not have anything to do with large surface area enzyme reaction gases exchange and protein synthesis okay 
so the crystal of the mitochondria usually have a large surface area for a this large surface area is actually associated with enzyme reaction because the larger the surface area more enzymes can actually bind and act on these molecules so yep we know respiration where large surface area is required okay number 14 it says which what is the resolution in nanometers of electron microscope light microscope this is basically something we have to know about so light microscope has a resolution of 200 nanometers which we can see in option b and d whereas electron microscope has a resolution of 0.5 nanometers which is b so these are general theory which you need to know for your as level cambridge okay in question number 15 it says the diagram shows a drawing of an electron micrograph of a cell with structure is surrounded by double membrane okay so it says double membrane here so Golgi apparatus does not have a double membrane lysosome does not have a double membrane mitochondria does have a double membrane and that's basically it um, nucleus can also be considered to have a double membrane cytoplasm does not have any membrane at all so C is the correct response because that's only the place where you find mitochondria to have a double membrane and these spice does not have double membrane so nucleus can be considered to have a double membrane also okay so C is the correct response okay number 16 in which animal would Golgi apparatus be most abundant okay uh, sorry animal cell so Golgi apparatus are used for secretion we I think I discussed about the secretory pathway and exocytosis out of the cell in the Golgi apparatus video you can check it out as well so this secretion usually occurs in the goblet cells in the goblet cells actually produces mucus and this mucus is secreted out of the goblet cells okay secreted out of the goblet cells so goblet cells is the correct response ciliated epithelial cells that's no because they just beat in wave like motion they do not secrete anything and plus it does not secrete anything muscle cells does not secrete anything so yeah so question number 17 it says which feature of which is a feature of the prokaryotic cells absence of cell surface membrane division by mitosis so it says feature of all prokaryotic cells presence of mitochondria presence of ribosomes mitochondria is wrong obviously all prokaryotic cells have ribosomes okay ribosomes are needed for protein synthesis without that they cannot survive protein synthesis is very important they have 70s ribosomes which are used for protein synthesis so that's a common property for all prokaryotes okay they have ribosomes which are 70s and circular loop of dna 